तो दोस्तों ऑन दी ओकेजन ऑफ प्राइम डे सेल इन अमेरिका आई हैव बॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्फेस गो थ्री जो मुझे पड़ा अराउंड एट हंड्रेड डॉलर का एंड वेन आई वॉज अ स्टूडेंट टू लैपटॉप हैड द बिगेस्ट हाइप इन माई कॉलेज एज अ कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट नो मैटर विच कॉलेज यू गो टू नंबर वन मोस्ट पॉपुलर लैपटॉप इज मैकबुक एयर एम वन बिकॉज ऑफ एप्पल्स हाइप विद सिलिकॉन चिप आफ्टर दैट नोन फॉर देयर बेस्ट हार्डवेयर विद टच स्क्रीन विद pencil to draw just on the same computer it is none other than microsoft go 3 for 800 dollars is it worth it let's find out Here is the laptop. Feel wise, it feels very, very premium. It is not fingerprint magnety. I have touched it many times. You don't see a single spot of fingerprint except this mirror here. And this has a three is to two ratio of screen, so which is good for programmers because you can scroll vertically, have more area vertically. But it's only around twelve point four inches, so not as big as other popular computers. But on this budget. 12.4 inches is not too bad because vertical space is still significant on this computer. On the left side one USB A port, then type C port, headphone jack. Right side pe this is I thought it's a uh, SD card reader but this is MagSafe charging port by Surface. It is proprietary Microsoft's port so with this you can use it as a docking station as well as use it as a MagSafe charger. And on the front side no ports here. This Surface book comes with 39 watt charger which is a MagSafe charger. So if you just जरूरी बात यह कि अगर आप ये चार्जर भूल जाते हो इफ यू फर्गेट दिस चार्जर यू स्टिल हैव एन ऑप्शन टू यूज टाइप सी बट ओनली वन टाइप सी पोर्ट आई विश इट वॉज टू बट वन इज इनफ इफ यू रिमेंबर टू कैरी योर मैक सेफ चार्जर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेब कैम बहुत छोटा इट्स अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल वेब कैम ऑन दिस सर्फेस बुक but seems really high quality and around 1080p quality in terms of hardware of this keyboard it's not very very clicky but still it is decent quality obviously you cannot always compare with mac it is more clicky for sure but it is nonetheless i still enjoy typing on surface book now even in windows there is native support for screen recording all you have to do is command alt r and now screen is recording and let me show you the deals that are available for you on amazon prime with the links in description below so number one is apple watch series 8 which is for 319 dollars i am not a apple watch fan anymore i still don't wear because i think i get very distracted with watch even though if i have notifications disabled i feel like ki i i'm more into the moment without a watch so i have less i wear less watch the ipad pro has a sale my favorite sale is currently air tag so i think air tag is definitely must important next airpods third generation it has a sale if you want to gift to anyone then airpods pro second generation as well so this is with lightning port so they got cheaper 200 dollars and then next we have airpods max which were my favorite headphones honestly bit heavy but i really enjoyed that favorite experience in new york city you see so many people wearing these bit expensive still 480 dollars but and you know the biggest sale on amazon which is most hyped always that is for macbook air m1 749 dollars currently but if you get the renewed one they have six stocks available which is 677 dollars so i'll have all the links whatever you want to buy you can check out with my links in description below and screen quality is so good even in this bright sun aap dhyan se dekh sakte ho i can see read and code with the max brightness on max brightness coding experience is definitely bit brighter on surface book now the quick comparison i am going to run android studio this is the app that we are building part of our android cohort we bait we already did so far a python server in an android cohort so this is the app i am going to run it simultaneously on both sides let's see which one is faster and first comparison we will do with plugged in and next comparison without plugging in because maximum complaints come on windows laptop when it is not plugged in so gradle build is running so let's see which is more powerful 
सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कंप्यूटर और मोर पावरफुल कंप्यूटर फॉर कोडिंग सो अभी जल्दी से हो जाए सो बोथ आर डूइंग बोथ आर नॉट एक्सट्रीमली फास्ट बिकॉज दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज रियली बिग दिस हैज मेनी लाइब्रेरीज दिस हैज अ कैमरा कॉम्पोनेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट दिस एप डज वी टेक अ फोटो ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम लाइक वन प्लस वन वी सेंड इट टू चैट जी पी टी एंड चैट जी पी टी गिव्स अस दी आंसर एंड वी शो इन अ स्क्रीन सो इट्स स्टिल रनिंग सो फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स बोथ आर स्टिल कंप्लीटिंग एंड द फैन हैज स्टार्टेड ऑन surface book it is making a fan noise so uh this computer is completely cool even macbook air stays cool at this point but this is getting bit warm here uh, while this android project is running also if you pick this computer up the table is bit warm as well on this side the fan is already building so that is something i definitely miss in macbook air and pros that fan doesn't start randomly and it stays cooler much cooler right here i can see that this is completely room temperature it's not even warm but this is getting hot here so this display is brighter but this display of macbook is less reflective and fan is still loud also the build is still running on this computer while the build is running i wanted to tell you that if you let's say install a new application like pycharm or whatever application you want to download it takes almost double triple time to download on windows as compared to mac let's say you want to install pycharm downloading plus installing that's what i meant it takes longer on windows computer and plus what i have noticed is that this is a touch screen display so you would think that you can use any pencil you want to right it's great for taking notes you can use one note and make some notes but you cannot use any pencil like this is apple pencil you cannot use it this this is the pencil from a think pad let's see if this works no this will not work either because because it needs a compatible surface book pencil which connects via bluetooth so you have to check this out i'll leave a link in description below my only disappointment is that for heavy apps like android studio it starts the fan it makes the computer warm and even if now the build is not running the build was successful after 3 minutes for this one and it was successful after 10 seconds so if i run this app again so let's install the app again here and let's install the app again here you will notice a significant difference even though this is plugged in this completed in 1 second 217 millisecond first build was obviously 2 minutes here 2 minutes here but the consecutive build look this completed in 1 second this is still running this will take still 30 to 40 seconds almost 30 times difference between mac and windows like you can say this is pro computer but still even for air the difference is that significant that's my biggest complaint that for heavy apps uh this could be a problem also the reflective screen is much more on this side so you can see my reflection here but you won't see me right here on the macbook so that is bit uh, annoying with the windows open from my side but overall hardware quality definitely it's up gone are the times yaar ki you bought this computer which is windows 2 3 years later the performance will go down that doesn't happen anymore with specially good hardware computers like surface book performance will re performance will stay consistent if it has battery of currently 10 to 12 hours on my side i experienced around 8 hours only but still 8 hours is still better what it used to be before it has all day battery if if i share my experience with this lenovo thinkpad i used it for one year for android development obviously like android performance is slower than macbook but battery life is pretty good it was 3 to 4 hours and even after one year it is 3 to 4 hours so battery life stays consistent even after some period of time Now with just one or two apps running if I try to open task manager you will see that windows computer is already slowing down and also in fact if you see the cpu usage with pycharm and android studio 39% of the memory is already being used and uh, around cpu 29% is being used that is the problem the swap memory is not as good on windows as compared to max that's what m1s are famous for you open five apps still you don't feel that laptop is slowing down sometimes with these two to three apps you feel like it's slowing down other than that what i really like about uh, microsoft is my favorite edge browser i want to show you that whenever you copy a link let's say i copy this microsoft link and let's say i paste it paste it right here 
you will see that it automatically converts it to a hyperlink which is my favorite feature and you can cut it to a hyperlink just amazon or you can just say ki bhai it is pen so i can just make it pen and it is a hyperlink which is clickable so this is my favorite feature my phone is connected by the way i forgot to tell you android phone connects directly on my windows see the battery level of my android phone 81% plus i can do calls as well which is in preview right now and see photos of my phone as well so these are those so my genuine thoughts on the surface go 3 i personally think that if you dual boot ubuntu ya fir linux based operating system on it you will be able to get better performance because many apps like android studio they work better on linux based operating system but overall premium hardware if you have read the news many universities used to buy chromebook to give to their students now that has changed they are buying microsoft books surface books because they are better quality than chromebooks so yeah hardware wise it is definitely better so you can definitely consider it and do not forget to check out the links in description below for the prime day sale plus our cohort because the feedback i have gotten in the last 5 weeks is amazing do not miss out on this opportunity thank you so much for watching